lower here. And then the mattress comes out right like this. And there are four pillows, a Kleenex box, sheet, comforter, mattress, all of it is here. The bed is made. We're ready to go to sleep. And then this gives us room to do what we really love to do, which is dance. Have a little dance. Mm -hmm. What other mm -hmm. band do you know that has a dance floor built in? There's nothing. Not too many that I know. Of. No, no. I mean, look at this space back here. I can just do a full spin, drop her down. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> we, we can sit like this, and we're facing each other. Play cards. Yep. Eat dinner. We have a view. Isn't this nice? It's a great view? view. Look at this amazing ocean view over this here. This is great. I love this. <sighs> nice little read. We have seating for four people. There you go. Wherever you want to go. There it is. We have these fun little lights. I guess we'll talk about that later, but these are kind of magic lights. I like these. All the shower gear fits in here, which is our storage box underneath. So we fold it up, put it down below, and I'll just get inside. Kind of show you how it's done. You grab the water here, turn it on, you're taking a shower. Obviously, I'm not going to get naked for you. We'd get more views. Yeah, you're right. So we've gone ahead and essentially cut our galley in half and moved this whole cabinet over to create space for two seats. In between, we've got this awesome table coming out from under our bed. Slides out really nice, super sleek. Now we're inside the rig. You see how that low top kind of affects the living room in here. It's not horrible, you know, you can do your thing. Wash dishes, no problem. Something that always goes overlooked, I feel, is putting a little sink and a little camper, but what you really want is a big sink and a little camper because it makes all the difference in the world when you're doing dishes. We've actually got a Thetford cassette toilet hiding in there. Got a blank slate, no slider in this pan. So that gives us two points of entry. You got the front doors or the back doors. Moving on to the interior. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. 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 That's where the uh, the dinette space comes into play. Freeman folding seat, all on gas assisted struts. So it's really easy to open up. Table pulls out from its holder here, sits on these adjustable tracks, drop the leg down. And there you go. Slides forward, slides back, whatever you have space for. Behind me here is the probably the most multi-use van we've ever done, while also only being good for one use. And that one use is a mobile recording studio. We knew we were gonna delineate it into two sides. Essentially, we have the front half here, which is the control room, and then we have the back half through this window, which is what we're calling the live room. So it's more the studio, it's where the musicians are. This entire room back here is actually a room within a room. And if you'll allow me, I'd like to demonstrate how soundproof it really is. Here's that sweet little drawer fridge I was talking about with our quintessential folding leaf hardware. Boom, pretty awesome. This is where the bunk bed is as well. So the kids bunk slides right onto these two rails and it just Velcros in place. And then there's an extension over here that comes out to give the kids extra space to sleep. This one's super unique because it can fit a family of five super comfortably. And what we've done in this build is actually kept the factory three-seater from Mercedes. You can see this creates a really nice area here that's really good for prep. So it's cool how this van's ended up being kind of a, a dinette passenger area, moving into the kitchen area, and then we'll go to the back, which is more of a full dining area and also the bedroom. So as you can see, I'm up on the Moab bed. This is where the kids will be. You can see you've got tons of room. It's a big, long table. You could probably fit eight people back here if you really wanted to. We're really pleased about how this turned out. I've got plenty of headroom, even with a little cushion. So you can have the bed up top set up at all times because even though these Moab beds are really easy to take out, you have to put them somewhere. So in a setup like this, we're able to leave it, make dinner, hang out down here. Then everyone could climb up. You can pack gear up there if you're not sleeping at the moment. As you can see, it's got all the goodies on the outside. It's even prettier on the inside. Come on in, let's take a look. It's the little things, but in the end, a really nice fit and finish like this goes a long way. Our friends at Owl Vance, as always, coming through with some awesome rear door accessories. I absolutely love what we did 
with the inside of this thing. Uh, the client had really great taste as to what the aesthetic they wanted in here to be. This is so nice. We're sitting in the uh, Shillman seats. These are the aftermarket units. These things are awesome. Tons of different movement, tons of different support. Really comfy. Over here, we've got the convertible bench. Uh, it goes into the double seat right now, looking out. It's awesome to be able to look out at the view if you're, you know, pulled up at the beach or something like that. A beautiful countertop here with a really cool backsplash. Really excited about this. This is um, an aesthetic choice that the client made. They wanted a mountainscape for their backsplash, so we made it happen. Really love how this reclaimed ceiling came out. This is tongue and groove that we milled. Another cool thing is how we worked in some more Pendleton blanket. I love doing this just because it's such a cool look. They have so many patterns. Take a look. We've uh, installed a nice blackout curtain with uh, really nice latches here to um, increase kind of the quiet area, if you will. And magnets here to hold. Totally blacks out the whole front area. Thin cabinets with uh, some creative latches here. There's two modes with this vehicle. One is what we call a passenger mode, and one is called a uh, more of a camping mode. And camping mode has a top load Dometic refrigerator, as seen here. And then this whole box, top to bottom, is removed by four bolts inside here. These bolts right here undo, removes this unit out, and we replace it with a folding two-passenger Freedman seat. This area here can seat uh, easily six people back here. The table's a little short on the length of that, but that being said, six people can comfortably sit here and have a nice eating experience with lighting, Maybe the doors are open, a great view. Slide the table out of the way as you do with any lagoon table. Tighten it up and it's it's off in its storage area. Okay, we're gonna uh, now deploy the porta potty, which then doubles as the shower. And so we will now connect the shower. Quick connect. And the curtain hooks up to these little eyelets right here. And you use the curtain and that's how you take your shower. Great little project, Ford Transit, a lot of stuff in a little area.